Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Skolde and today I'm going to teach you a little trick. And this trick will allow you to access and edit properties that you can find from within the editor. And the reason that we may want to do this is because not every property have a function that allows you to access it. I'm just gonna show you an example that will apply for more or less any property you would find in other nodes. So I'm gonna begin by just selecting the panel node. This panel node have a lot of properties inside the inspector. If I were to hover over, for example, the size property, we can see that it has a property name of rect slash size. If I wanted to get this value that is within this property, I can use a get function. I will demonstrate how. So I'm gonna right click the panel, attach a script, I'm gonna name the script panel.gd. I'm going to remove all the comments and I'm going to enable tool on this script so we can actually see the changes without having to play the scene. I'm going to get and print out the value of our size side rectangle. Let's get the value for it. So var size equals get. This is universal. You can use this on any object. Then it wants the property name. So in this case, it'll be rect slash size. So now you will store the value of this size, which happens to be a vector 2. If I were to print this directly, let's uh, hit play. Make sure to save the scene, save, play again, let's select it as a main scene, and hit play a third and last time. Now we can see we printed out the size of our rectangle using the get in order to access the property. So that's how you would get a property, and this applies for any property. So if I wanted to change a property, for example, what if I wanted to change the rotation? Well, I would use the opposite called a set. However, like I mentioned, I'm going to use tool to do it from within code. So I'm just going to enter export integer bar rotation, and the default value of rotation will be zero. And then we're going to use a set get and use a function called set rotation in order to handle that. And this line will allow us to combine the tool in order to see the changes from within the editor. I'm going to copy this. Beneath here, I'm going to create a func set rotation, and this will take in the value that you set from within the editor. And if you don't set this value from within this function, this value will not update even if you change it from within the editor. It's just gonna remain zero every time you hit play unless you actually set this value inside this function. That's the trick about using a set get. It allows you to control the value put into this before it's actually put into this. Let's set the rotation to be equal to our value. So let us now set the rotation. I'm just gonna simply put set. The property name is, if you may not remember, we can hover over it to find the name can see it has a property name of rect slash rotation. If I wanted to change another property, for example, if I want to turn stop mouse to false, I could use a set focus slash stop mouse and then add false as the value for it. But I want to select rotation here, so let's go back into our script here. The first expect is property name. So let's make sure to add it in string and let's enter rect slash rotation. And then we want to enter the value. And you can use either the rotation directly or just the value. But I will just insert the value. If I now press Ctrl S to save everything and go back to our panel here, scroll up on the right side and change the rotation. Let's try 45 degrees. And now you can see we have directly accessed the property using a set function in order to change the rotation value. And that's pretty much the trick there is to it. Now, one thing you may want to know about. If you wanted to access a more complicated uh, object from within the editor, for example, the material. Let me create a new canvas item material. Edit this and let's take a look inside there. This object has properties by itself, so if I wanted to access the properties within another object inside your node, what you would do is first get the property and then you would set it. So let's get the canvas material. The way I'm gonna do that is using a var material equals get and then the property name. Let's take a look. Property name is material slash material. Okay, let's go back in here. Let's enter that material slash material. And this will be a reference of that material. If you wanted multiple instances of this panel, and you changed the value of this material from within the editor, for example, the same way I get the rotation, all instances of this panel using the same material will have the same change. So if you don't want that, you have to make sure to set this as unique, like so, on the instance. This is not a uh, instance by itself, but that's just something to keep in mind. If I wanted to set a value on this, let's um, go back into a material here. Let's edit. Let's take a look here. Let's uh, say you want to set resource name. Well, then I would access the property name resource slash name. Let's go back into editor here and let's set that property using our material. Set 
resource slash name and then the value. So this is the name. And then we press Control S to save. Now you cannot see it from within the editor, even though I have a tool on. So I'm gonna hit play and see if we can find out what it is from the remote inspector inside our debugger here. Let's find the canvas item material. Ah, here we go. As you can see, we now have set a property within another object. So hopefully that should cover it all. And if you have further questions, please comment below and let me know. And I will do my best to answer them if I can. If you didn't follow along this tutorial and would like to try this out yourself, you can download the source code for this example in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't and want to see more videos, and I will probably see you in a future video. Bye bye